Yo, what's up everyone? I am here for a first look at the newest champion on the public beta, which was just put out yesterday as of me doing this video. And uh, his name's Rengar. He's a new melee DPS bruiser for the top lane. And I say top lane because I tried him in the jungle and he felt like utter shit. You can, uh, I actually uh, looked at Stonewall's post on Twitter. He kind of agreed with me on that one. And uh, the reason I say this is that he, I mean, you can go with like cloth, five health push and start and you can still barely do the jungle. Uh, his early, his early jungle is just so, so slow and he takes a lot of damage and his healing, even though he has a healing ability, is just not that good. So let me go ahead and go over like his different abilities and talk about how strong he can actually be in the top lane and uh, just kind of uh, give you give you an idea of, of what this champion is going to be. Gar's passive does two things for him. First off, every time he uses an ability, he gets a stack of what's called ferocity, which can stack up to five times. Once he gets five stacks, he gets an added effect on one of his abilities. So you'll notice I'm doing this uh, at level one. I'm actually running up and using my Q on the minions there to get ferocity stacks up to three so I can head to the lane and uh, I'll get five much quicker that way. And then the other passive is that when he stands in a bush or when he goes into stealth, which I'll talk about later, he can actually leap to his next auto attack target. So you'll just auto leap to them. In this game, that's exactly what I do. I get my five stacks up and then I'll go into the bush. I leap on top of the singed at level one using my Q ability and I take him down. Obviously I die because I'm just screwing around in this game and trying to have some fun. But uh, overall, let me go ahead and talk about his Q ability and why it's so strong early on. And that way you can see me bruising some other top laners in uh, some other matchups. So his Q is one of those auto attack reset abilities on next hit. Uh, does actual your total attack damage in a 1-1 ratio and bonus damage and it gives you a three second attack speed boost for quite a large amount. The bonus from having five stacks of ferocity is that it does basically double that. And that is why he is so, so damn strong early on. And that's why you're able to like at level one pretty much insta-gib people. Now his W is a flat magic resist and armor buff whenever you hit somebody with it. It's just a point blank AOE that does magic damage and scales on AP. The bonus from Ferocity on that one is that you get this 15% heal, which is actually pretty strong in the laning phase. You can use that to sustain yourself in the harder lane matchups. And his E ability is an actual targetable nuke that scales on AD. It'll slow down the target that you hit. If you use it with the Ferocity bonus, you're gonna get a one second root on top of that slow. Mostly in the lane, you're just gonna be spamming the crap out of all of your abilities to try and get that ferocity bonus up and then you can kinda uh, stand in the bush, leap out to last hit minions very easily and then you can go bam, balls to the wall on top of your opponent if you're strong enough or if you're weak and you're having trouble, you can just use the healing from your W ability to keep yourself alive in the lane while you last hit. All right, finally, Ringar's ultimate is actually really cool. This will take him into stealth for a short duration and it will actually reveal around him in quite a large radius every enemy champion. Now it is actually very annoying to be honest with you. It turns everything kind of invisible and red so it's really hard in big team fights to tell which champion is which if you are uh, just in the heat of battle. But anyways, you can see them and that's kind of cool. And then you're gonna get a mood speed bonus. Your ferocity is gonna just start rapidly going up to full and obviously you're stealth so you can just jump on anyone uh, using your passive. It's actually a pretty fun spell to use to run around and snipe people down. Uh, sometimes it's actually really cool to run in, use all of your abilities and have your ferocity bonus going and stuff like that and then when you start to get focused you use your stealth to get away kind of like as if you were a talent and then when your ferocity is back to full you jump back in and you go on them. So down here in this clip I'm gonna go ahead and use my stealth to quickly catch up to this Katarina and get a vision of her. I lose vision actually for a slight moment but once she runs back through the bush I have my passive where, well, I'm in the bush, so I'm gonna jump on her and I'm able to clean up the kill there. Unfortunately, there are several of them coming in and that Ringar is chasing me down. He's got that slow from the red buff and he's gonna take me down as well with his big damage. Uh, I just needed like literally one more attack and I could have taken him down, but whatever, he got away. Another unique thing about Ringar is that there is a unique item he can buy called a bone tooth necklace. It's actually very cost efficient because at level 18, 
it gives you about 56 attack damage for only a thousand gold and what happens is that whenever you kill someone or get an assist you get a stack on this necklace when you die you actually lose one stack as well but anyways at two stacks you'll get a move speed bonus at six stacks you'll actually be able to get kind of a cooldown reduction and armor pin bonus at 12 you'll be able to leap further from your stealth and then finally at 18 you can uh, use use the uh, item and actually be able to uh, refresh all of your ferocity instantly. At first I thought the item was kind of crappy but after I realized the fact that it was just way cost efficient I was like okay it's, it's good stuff especially if you start getting stacks but if you don't then that's still fine. Overall Rengar is actually pretty damn fun to play. It sucks that he can't jungle at least not very well at all but he is one of those champions that can snowball quite hard and really do tons of damage in team fights. Obviously, he is going to get blown up in the middle of, uh, you know, in the middle of situations where everyone else is really strong as well. It seems like it's going to be really fun playing him and figuring out all the different cool tricks of using bushes to attack your enemies and uh, jumping into fights and then getting out with your ultimate to uh, to really make the most use of him in this particular fight. You can see I jumped onto the enemy Rengar and he's stealth to get away because he's like, oh crap, this guy's gonna wreck me. And then he comes back in because obviously they have a gank coming in. But uh, I look like I'm gonna run away to the left. I turn on my ultimate and they go check the bottom bush. I run right up to the top one and I'm able to easily escape. So I'm kind of that, uh, you know, that crazy Shaco escape mechanic. I really haven't uh, pinned down a solid build for him yet, so obviously I'm not going to talk about that. I mean, this is just a first look. I started playing him last night on the PBE, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So if you did, please land me a like and uh, leave me some comments and discuss kind of what you think about him. I'm going to be streaming some more, so if you haven't, check me out on twitch.tv slash colbycheese where I... Uh, you know, I show off all the new champions and also do a lot of ranked games and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys around for my Katarina video when I get that one done. This Kobe Cheese. Peace out. Yo, subscribe to my channel or check out some of my other videos. Peace out.